So what's ahead? In addition to the changes in orders and guidance uh, for today that start soon, we intend to remove additional orders in another four weeks at, uh, effective Friday, April 8th. And that is, of course, assuming that our um, conditions continue to improve. These will include uh, the BC vaccine card will no longer be required in those indoor settings and higher risk settings and events. Um, and uh, the post uh, the businesses will transition from the workplace safety order, which requires COVID-19 specific safety plans, to the previous plans that we had uh, in place last summer, uh, the communicable disease plans. So those will be specific to each industry or business. Uh, in addition, we're going to be repealing the, uh, an order that requires uh, post-secondary students who live in residence to be vaccinated. And workplaces will transition back to uh, this requirement rather than having the broader communicable disease plans in place. Oops, I, sorry. So those are, are going to be effective on April 8th. As we said, we're going to take a balanced and um, transition approach over the next few weeks. I do also want to talk about uh, the regulated health professionals order. As you know, uh, earlier this week we published uh, the current part of the order that requires regulated health professionals to report to their college their vaccination status by the end of March. And this has been a, a change in how we're approaching this order, given the situation that we're in right now, but also given our ongoing consultation with the various colleges that are affected. So we want to ensure that uh, uh, colleges had the ability to collect that information from registrants and to do it in a residential, um, as well as making sure that uh, we had the ability to provide options to people in the regulated health professions, uh, including the new protein subunit vaccines like Novavax. And there has been a delay in our receipt of Novavax. We had expected it to be um, in the province by last week, and it looks like now we may not receive it until uh, either the third or last week of March. So I think that's a very important consideration, um, both for those um, people who already have been affected by uh, orders in their workplaces, but also um, for the regulated health professions. We are taking then a measured approach based on the risk and impact with each individual college as we go forward. So that means uh, we will have in place um, a measure for informed consent so that people can understand uh, the, that uh, there will be disclosure to clients or patients of vaccination status for some of the regulated health professions. And for others, there may be additional measures that we need in place. So yes, this is different from our original vision, which would be uh, people not being able to practice um, if, they, um, if they were not vaccinated by March 24th. We've been working through the specifics with each individual college and based on the risks within the, each profession, uh, there will be a, a component of public reporting, as I said, and then we will continue to take additional measures as needed, con considering the important impact on from each individual provider. I do want to say as well that we, our aim is to be consistent with the healthcare worker order that we already have in place that has been so important in supporting us, particularly through the, the Delta and Omicron waves in our healthcare sector, in health authorities and hospitals in the community. It is an important measure that ensures we have continued high level of immunity in our healthcare sector as we go through this transition phase and prepare for what comes next in terms of SARS-CoV-2 because this virus is still with us. We are not yet at the place where we understand enough and we know the patterns and the changes that this virus will undergo and to be able to call it endemic. But we are learning to live with it in a more sustainable way at the same time as supporting people to recover from the, the measures that we've been through for the last two years.